Okay, here's a quick video of a factory I.O. simulation tied to the CODASYS running in the Raspberry Pi. The way this works is you have actuators and sensors. Sensors are all of the photo eyes in the simulation and all of the switches. Your actuators are things like the conveyors, the output lights, here and here, and also to activate the turntable control. This simulation has no logic to function. It is all driven externally from the Raspberry Pi's PLC program. So I'm going to go ahead and run the simulation and you'll see what we're talking about. So right now, we're feeding boxes in, the conveyors are running, and I can stop it. So the conveyors are all stopped. I restarted them. So when a box comes up to here, it will stop until this other box comes out. And it will alternate which direction it goes. And as the box exits the ramp, it'll go down these slides and then disappear. And as you can see, we're getting a uh, counter for each box it counts. So as it passes this photo eye, it'll increment that count by one. We'll just let it finish. It's only going to run five boxes. Okay, so that's the uh, that's all the five boxes, and I'll show you the the interface to the PLC. So what we have here, again, we have a Modbus TCP client connected to a Modbus TCP slave inside the Codasys Pi. We have sensors, we have actuators. These are these are in the simulation. So these are photo eyes in the simulation. These are outputs like the indicators and the conveyors. These actuators are mapped to the uh, outputs of the PLC. So when the PLC turns on a feeder conveyor, it'll turn on the actuator here and, and vice versa on the sensors. The sensors are mapped to the PLC's inputs. So for example, when you have a box come in right at the turntable, It'll basically turn on this input, and you'll see it in the PLC. So in the PLC code, switch over to that. Here, you have your input mapping. These are all your sensors. This is your output mapping. This is from the PLC uh, outputs and sending it into the simulation. So this goes into the simulation, these outputs, and this comes out of the simulation. These are on the inputs. Here we have some falling edge triggers, like I was saying. So when we get an input on the falling edge of that input, which means when it turns, when it turns back off, that's when you'll see this uh, falling edge trigger, like uh, FAT entry, which down here you'll see that it's, it's only on for one scan here, it executes this code. It's pretty basic code, it's not real fancy. Um, you have left conveyor code, and you have right conveyor code. You've got your turntable control. Here's a little bit of code for counting boxes as they pass the uh, turntable entry photo eye. This controls the directions right here. And here, this is what controls the alternating uh, portion of the uh, conveyor or the uh, turntable. And this controls the uh, stack light. That's what that is. So when the entry conveyor is running, 
it turns on the green light, turns off the red light, and then it turns off when it stops. These are the control inputs from the uh, operator panel. This is the, the run control and this is the stop control. Real basic logic. And pretty straightforward. That's, that's all the code that's running and that's operating that simulation. So again, here's the Modbus slave device. That's about it. So we'll switch back to the simulation. That's about it.